Y'all remember this video. Actually, the woman that posted that video came out with a video addressing all the naysayers in regards to that post that she made on Facebook that went viral after the rapper Trick Daddy reposted it to his page. So we're about to check that out right now. Y'all ready? I'm ready. Let's hear what she got to say. So the whole world is basically bashing me right now because I'm the baby mama who was upset at her baby daddy because he only decided to give his child McDonald's and not the rest of my other three kids. I have four kids. You knew the situation when you dated me. Our child is the youngest child. So keep that in mind before y'all make me the villain. That means all my other kids knew him. He was buying the McDonald's when we were together. My kids have to go through a transition of... All right, so here what she just said. She said, my kids knew him. He was buying the McDonald's when we were together. The girl I'm talking to actually brought up a valid point. She said that the guy looked like he's a good man. He looked like he is trying to do his best by his child and take care of his child. And he's an active father. At least he's trying to be. But he, there's some pushback with this woman. She said that it's a strong possibility, just like this woman just said, that when he was with this woman, that he was doing stuff for those other kids as well. But he decided once that relationship was over, that he was going to only do for his child. He was buying the McDonald's when we were together. My kids have to go through a transition of our breakup as well. Like, yeah, me and you broke up, but my kids got to feel it too. So now my kids have to see only one of their siblings get McDonald's and not the rest of them. And they know it's coming from you because, of course, like me and you used to be together. They used to see you. You used to do it for them. But now you don't want to do that for them anymore. Like, to me, that's petty. That's petty. Like, it's not fair. Like, you're not going to give one child mcdonald's and not all the other kids mcdonald's like i'm not going and then on top of that you mean to tell me you can dib and dab and want to do it sometimes but yet you can't see all my other kids mcdonald's though uh, don't you for one it's not his re... woman you ought to know that it is not his responsibility especially because he's no longer in a relationship with you, it's not his responsibility to make sure that your children are fed. That's on you. He's doing what he's supposed to do by the child that he had with you. That's fair. How you expect for that to look to your other children is all on you. Be enough of a mature adult to explain those type of situations to your other kids who are older than this child. That would be more of a sound logical thing to do is to sit down and have those important conversations with your children so that they can understand rather than you to put them in the position to where they will become automatic victims of a situation that you created. That's what you mean to tell me? Like, I'm not going for that. I'm gonna stand on what I said and I don't care what everybody else have to say about it. Y'all could judge me. Oh, well, I could be the villain, but I said what I said. Like, if you can't bring everybody McDonald's, then can't nobody have McDonald's then. Period. <sighs> These women that end stuff in periods is it's fascinating. Very fascinating. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> Yo. But I said what I said. Like, if you can't bring everybody McDonald's, then can't nobody have McDonald's then. Period. She said, if you can't bring everybody McDonald's, then can't nobody have McDonald's. Period. <laughs> hey, and she made that very clear in the first video, but I'm gonna tell y'all right now. Oh, look, I went over to her TikTok page, right? Found this video there, and I scrolled through to see what her other posts look like, and to be told, she do a lot of skits. Now, I don't know if that original video that she showed us was a skit. Heck, I don't even know if it was her. Now, this could be one of three things. There's three different possibilities or perspectives as to what this could actually be. And one that was brought to my attention is that this could be real. And she posted it to Facebook because some people will post more personal stuff to Facebook. People that may be involved or family members and stuff rather than putting it out on the rest of the internet for the world to see. It could be that it is real and it just so happened to blow up and get picked up off of Facebook. The second thing could be that this woman is just doing a skit. 
It could have been completely fake, completely staged, just like some of the other skits on her TikTok page. The third thing could be that this woman has no affiliation or association with the people that was in that first initial video. Now, I feel like I need to go back to listen to it again so that I can hear the voices to see if these two voices sound the same. But she could have no affiliation with the people in that video, the man and woman, and she decided because she's doing these skits, let me go ahead and create this response video making it seem like I'm the woman in the video because nobody actually saw who the woman was in the video and maybe I can get some clout off of this that will bring more traction to my page that already has close to 200,000 followers doing these type of skits. We don't know, we don't know, but hell, nonetheless, it creates great entertainment for all of us. But anyway, leave your thoughts, comments, and opinions down below and I'm gonna catch y'all in the next one. See ya.